Okay, next uh, we will move ahead and uh, explore the difference between sum and sum x function. The sum function adds all numbers, all the numbers in the column and returns a decimal number. And whereas the sum x function, as I explained a while back repeatedly, right? So the function which ends with the x is called a right reading function. It takes two arguments. The first argument is a table name, second argument is your expression. The sum x function also returns a decimal number. Okay, even the sum function also returns a decimal number, but in right, it adds all the numbers in a column returns a decimal number. Whereas in the case of sum x also, we can do the same thing, but uh, using sum x, we can evaluate an expression. Okay. Okay, now the question is, what is the exact difference between sum and sum x function? The interview, they'll ask you this question. The sum function aggregates a single column and produces a single summation of the, for example, this is the one sum function. So this is the measure. The sum function aggregates a single column. So in this case, the sales sum of single column and produces a single uh, summation of the co this column after applying all context filters. I'll explain what is context filters a little later. The next one is the sum x function. The sum x function is an iterator function it performs a row by row iteration and complete an evaluation. The sum x function, it iterates through each row of the table. It goes to each and every row of the table and then aggregates the values after applying all the context filters. And then applies an additional piece of logic before producing the final summation. Okay. So what uh, I will do is I will explain what is uh, the context filters a little later so that uh, you will be able to understand. So any all, uh, after explaining that, we will revisit this topic also. Okay, but uh, you remember this, both these functions are doing the same thing. If you uh, use the same measure, uh, sales fact uh, in this table, sales sum, here also same thing. But what uh, what is the exact difference here? So both of them are producing the total sales, same value, okay? But uh, the difference is the sum x function, it iterates each and every row. It goes to each and every row and then picks up. Whereas it takes, the, it takes a single column as an argument, you know, it, it, it does the sum for the entire value in one go. But um, if you ask me exact difference between these two, both of them are same. Both these sum and sum x functions are same. Okay, both of them are same. One second. See, both of them are same only. Let me, okay, I press something here. See, both of them are more or less same. If you see this uh, measure, if, the, if you see these two measures, it will hold the same value. For example, the sales sum, total sales amount is, let's say, uh, 100K. Here also 100K only. But the difference is, you know, the syntax. Okay, now the question is, um, if I use this function, some function, it's not a question, okay? So behind this, scene, what happens is, this some function will get translated like this, behind the scene, behind the scene, okay? Without our knowledge. So you might be thinking, okay, I'm just using some function. But uh, what happens is, before it performs the uh, total on the sales amount column, it, it converts this command like this behind the scene. Then you might be asking this question, then why should I have a sum function? Why should I have a sum x function? Ideally, I should have given the sum x function. Okay, so why should I have two different ones? The reason is syntax sugar. You have something called syntax sugar. What is syntax sugar? It is nothing but, uh, right? So it will be developer friendly. So in this case, you don't have to write, uh, you know, you don't have to write a lengthy thing, right? The sum function and the table name, comma, column name, instead of, you know, writing it uh, uh, extensively, you just simply specify sum. It be just, a, you know, the syntax is nothing but developer friendly. Okay, you, you can hear this term in any programming language. Okay, the syntax is basically to help the developer to write less number of code. Okay, behind the scene, it does the same thing. But in the interview, when they ask you, you can tell them the sum function takes a single column as an argument and produces a single summation of the column. 
whereas a sum x function uh, you can this in the case of sum x function for example another example is here this is your first argument sales fact in the sum x function so what you can do is uh, you can uh, use an expression because it is an iterating function any iterating function you can use an expression okay see here for example uh, sales fact of uh, quantity into sales fact of uh, price okay quantity into price will give the sales amount okay so in this case uh, as i told you right so so this is a simple example but in general we use sum x for this kind of to evaluate an expression like this quantity into price right so in this case the sum x function what it does is uh, it uses uh, row context there's something called row context so in the case sum x it goes each and every row and each row it picks up the quantity and price and then it produces for example my measure name is sales amount okay i want to derive the sales amount to derive the sales amount for each record i need to use this column quantity into price because i don't have the sales amount column that is available in my table okay so in that case what i do is i'm going to create a measure by the name of sales amount here what i do is i'm using the sumx function sumx function what it does is for it goes to each and every row and then it uh, you know it calculates or it uses the it evaluates this expression it goes to the first row and then it takes the quantity for the first row and then it multiply uh, the price for the first row and then it will store the value in the sales amount okay and uh, similarly it goes to the second row for each and every row or uh, the sumx function will iterate in it applies this uh, the calculation got it okay but here tell me one thing are we doing any aggregation no we don't do any aggregation in this case right we are simply multiplying these values but in the sum using sumx function what we do is we are uh, performing row by row you know we are it, it uses the row context it, it it iterates through each and every row and then it uh, does this one okay but you cannot use uh, some x function in a calculated column you can use it but um, it will not produce the appropriate uh, result because what we are thinking is for each and every row i want to multiply the quantity times price to get uh, the sales amount because each row the sales amount is different but if you use some x function in calculated column what it does is it multiplies each and every row and then it takes the total sales of this one and then gives you for each and every row any of we will take a look at that one uh, a little later at this moment the difference between these two are like this the sum function uh, takes only one argument and then it takes the it it sums the total values it gives you it returns the total values the total sales amount in this case okay and in this case also it does the same thing Okay, if you use a column name, single column, okay, you can use single column. You can use more than one column, like an expression. You can use some kind of formula or calculation. You can perform some kind of calculation using some x function. The some x function, uh, you know, uses the row context. It goes the row by row. It performs the row by row operation, and then it uh, multiplies the values for uh, quantity. You know, these two columns for each row. Okay, uh, fine. So now you understood the difference between sum and sum x function. Uh, 